This is a revolution. I am the demo god. All the leaders. Freshly squeezed. Is that all? I want a, I want a match. That is wonderful. Did John Silver fuck this up? A paradigm shift. You wanna kick, you wanna kick my friend in his dick? It's the FTW World Championship. Bubbly. All right, Kenny's gotta be cool, right? The all arena best tag team division in the world. Not the Dippin' Dots! The damn Dippin' Dots didn't do anything to anybody! Welcome to All Elite Hour. Um, brought to you by Marked Out Wrestling Podcast. My name is Brian. Wait um, a minute. Kyle. What? Yo, Kyle, look the fuck up. Oh, oh MJ's oh, going to yell at you, man. He's, He's going to yell at you. Intro. You know what? Do the intro. Do it. I, I am yeah. looking through. No, how do you think this is going to be? Ready? If we're all just looking at our phones. More hey, ideas, welcome. Dude. Welcome to the All Elite Hour. My name is Brian. And my name's Kyle. And that's Kyle. Oh, Ed Sheeran's joining Kyle. Kylie Clarkson. See, that's, that's Excuse what me, what? Doing. What happened? Something about Ed Sheeran and Kelly Clarkson. I don't know. Ed Sheeran. Well, um, Sheeran and Kelly Clarkson. No, no. First of all, let's get this straight. This episode is going to be a questions from the group episode. Group, and when I say that, I mean the AEW All Elite Wrestling Discussion Facebook group. Go the join only that group. AEW group yes. you should be in. Yeah, seriously. I mean, if you're in some other ones, I mean, I won't really Leave hold them. it against you. But like, kind of like. Um, I mean, I'm just saying, we get people from from who, who tell us that they joined our group because other groups were shitty. It's true. It's true. It is a private group. Throw so, shade, just like that. Throw shade. Well, yeah, I mean, I it's am, not the shade. I, it's truth, bro. It's yeah. a truth bomb, bro. Yeah, I'm, tr- I'm trying to truth be bomb. Yeah, yeah. Very like, professional. We, we have people who have been in our group since day one and have said that they've never joined another AEW group. Because ours is the best. I don't even think I'm in any other. Uh, a little, a little trivia. Kyle's what? the only one in this podcast who's been here since day one. Is he? When, when did you come along, MJ? You don't remember? You can't remember? Wait, MJ, July, you, you weren't an original? No. Remember, I, I replaced you were. I replaced the one because I was doing some good conversation in the chats. Oh, yeah. Wow. Is that what oh, you were doing? Friends. Yeah, and Pat's like, hey, dude, what about this guy? And I was like, dude, I just <laughs> smoke weed all the time. <laughs> not really. Not well, really. Well, I do stuff. I book. Well, oh, yes, you do. Sure. You do. Uh, so, yes, this is going to be questions from the group episode. Um, and so uh, if you'd like to oh. throw some questions out there for future episodes, I don't know why I said that so slow. Um, you can go do that in the uh, in the discussion thread or you could just follow us on uh, Facebook at what is it at all elite hour. Is that MJ? Is that it at all elite hour? Yes, that's it. At all elite hour, because yeah, I'm the only one that runs it. Just a little bit of insight for everyone there too. Yeah, MJ, we we, we gave you the reins, man. Yeah. You're the one that's driving that ship. Look, which someone look. would drive the ship on the House of Black page? <laughs> still on page strike. People are still liking my shit. By the way, I got a I got a message from someone. Is that what's happening? Sting. There's a page. And he strike? asked me if I was sting. Like, dude, do I? Am I really sting, dude? Like, come on. What'd you say? I'm gonna. I didn't say anything back yet. I'm waiting. Yeah, I haven't answered. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I guess let's start off with the, the first question. Um, this is the most recent one that we received. Uh, Yo. Oh, no, you know what? We got two. Here we Yo. Go. Hello. Yo. Yes. Do you not notice something? What? Oh, where's Kyle? <laughs> oh, there oh, he is. Hey, hey, hey Kyle. Shit. Sorry, I had a different window. I'm like, bro, do you not notice something right <laughs> I now? I had a different window open. Dude, I no. was like... Uh... I was sitting there talking, and all of a sudden, both you and MJ just froze. And so then I started texting oh, no. the chat to see if something happened. <laughs> and then oh. it just popped out of nowhere. <laughs> all right. This again, dude. Is this the same? Is this the stuff that I was doing? It? No, 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 no. We're good, man. We're recording, right? Everything's yeah. good? Yeah. Levels, Cut levels. Fuck out. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to turn mine down a little bit. There we go. All righty. Um, so this first question comes from Jason Evans. Um, and I'm going to throw this to you, MJ, first. He asks, is AEW going to make it up to St. Louis after switching out a Dynamite reschedule for a Rampage and then getting hopes up for a pay-per-view and taking that away, too? I think Jason needs to calm down. Well, he's got a point, right? Dude. They had a Dynamite, and then it got switched, and then they also had a pay-per-view, and then that got switched. Kyle's gone again. Is he? 
Well, he's probably just thinking about this question. And also in the group, uh, Tim Smith also seconds this. He says, yes, uh, hoping for a revolution so I don't have to drive to Chicago again. So, I mean, we, we have been saying that they've been going back to Chicago, right? That's That's been their hometown. Hello, Kyle. Kyle's back with us. I guess we're having some con- connection on. issues or whatever. Yeah. Um, Stop downloading your horror movies. Yeah, it's all the horror movies I that you do. I streamed them. Thank you. I don't download shit. That's definitely what's happening, man. Uh, so MJ, what do you think? Do you think that they should do something uh, for the St. Louis audience, or do you think that this is? Uh, I mean, it's still COVID and whatnot, so maybe they're just going to certain cities. I have no idea what it's like in in St. Louis. I Kyle is. I don't know about that because you don't think so. They're literally coming to Orlando and Florida. That's true. Is like one of the worst states in yeah, the world. Well, yeah, but they Florida. started out in Florida. COVID. On, yeah, I mean they are from Florida. Yeah, so. that's true, but it's still. Yeah, no, I see what yeah. you're saying. You can't you can't skip certain areas that might be COVID hotspots if you completely do all a bunch of shows in Florida. It's like, yeah, it's a no little, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, obviously Chicago's COVID free because that they're doubling back there every month. Yeah. <laughs> every <laughs> month, guys, is a show. Every Isn't that? But well, okay, but Pro Wrestling Tees is there. That's kind of also. I feel like that's almost like their second home, kind of for, for AEW. I, I remember. Uh, Back the first, I think the first, it was, it was going on like the second year of AEW. Like mm-hmm. it was like starting off like twenty, uh, I think it was like uh, twenty twenty, uh, early twenty twenty when they were uh, starting to announce all the pay per views, mm-hmm. and we had ongoing jokes in the chat because uh, they would literally do a, a a show in Chicago and then announce a new pay per view, and then we're sitting there like, oh, I bet it's uh, I bet it's Madison Square Garden in New York. This is it, and it's like. Uh, we're going to a different part of Chicago, and so we would just have like jokes where we said that AEW would sit around with a map and they right. throw a dart, and they're like, "Oh, it looks like Chicago again!" <laughs> looks like Chicago, Chicago. <laughs> and they're like, "All right, East, East Chicago, uh, uh, we're coming back at you, and then we're getting West Chicago next <laughs> next pay per view." Well, it's it's kind of <laughs> messed up because there's a lot of indie promotions that run in Chicago, and I feel like that. It's taking up most of their revenue, you know. Mm. ML- MLW, they're very, they go in Chicago a lot. But they're more like Philadelphia. They're more Philly. That's true. A lot, of them, a lot of them are Philly now because ECW. EC Dub, bro. Oh, I'm actually, I thought I was, look, I'm even wearing a fucking Pro Wrestling Tees hat. Oh, oh, speaking so of, cool. of, of so indies, cool. it, it's, it, I don't think it's a Chicago indie, but you know the promotion, uh, wow. Uh, women of wrestling. Or, I did. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Did y'all hear the news recently? Mm, no. Enlighten us. Uh, a certain free agent who signed with them. Oh, can let's guess. Tessa. Or, Blanche. Unless, do, do, nope. <sighs> Tessa. That it's not tennis. It's not Tessa. It's no, Tessa. It is Tessa. It is Tessa. It is Tessa. Yeah, she, oh. she signed with Wow. 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 Yeah, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. Huh. So, so finally, after like how long she's been a free agent, she's finally signed. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like a major company. Well, I and, thought uh, she was working in, in Mexico though. And Dollar. apparently, uh, I don't think so. Apparently, it's been proven that there's that there was zero interest from AEW or WWE in bringing oh, in. Yeah, you can't in be Tessa. spitting in people's faces, making shit videos for people, <laughs> and right? expect a TV deal to come. Okay. To well, first of all, wait. We know that the one story has been confirmed. Yeah. Right, the one backstage. What was it, Germany or somewhere? Or where were they? They were like overseas. Or they were, they were in Mexico. Europe? I'm pretty I, sure they were in Mexico. I think it was Japan. Well, no, no, was yeah, Japan. it was Japan. It, it was, was Japan. Japan. It was Japan. Yeah. It was Japan. Um, but what about that other one? Is that uh, has that been like confirmed? Confirmed, MJ. I mean, a lot of people say it sounds just like her. She cuts promos. You can you can <laughs> I don't hear know. her voice. It, it, it's never been confirmed. Confirmed. So, have you heard it yourself, Kyle? I have not. I don't. Um, I to, will say I listen have. to the Cornet podcast. They play it on there. So yeah, I think that's that might have been where I heard it. I'll just oh say that that's God. where I heard it. It does sound like her. It sounds just like her. It does. Like I can't. And well, honestly, at this what point, what we need I don't, to do is we need to go to a Tessa meet and greet. Oh no! And be like, look, can you recreate this? I heard you. Can do you this. sign my? Do you have an NFT of this? <laughs> I heard you do these things. <laughs> oh no! Oh wow! Okay, so she's with women of wrestling. That's it, yeah. surprising that she would go to an all women company, right. considering yeah. a lot of them said that they didn't want to work with her. I wonder if this is just a a way for her to sign with somebody. 
to slowly build her name back. Mm, I play nice signs. for a little bit. Yeah, that's so a good point. Yeah. See, that's what I like about WWE and AEW right now, too, is because they do have the same mentality when it comes to who not to sign and who to sign. True. That's what I like about, but you know, you know, that's. And uh, what? NWA never looked at her? She was never. Dude. What? I haven't heard anything about that. They didn't even get rid of Flair. <laughs> no, well, well, that was before. No, I thought before I, I heard he's still. Out. I heard he's still in there. What? I don't think he's actually was ever a part of the company. I think it was yeah, no, that I, was just I, like a yeah, one off. I just heard that he's still in contact. You already know Triple A is still going to keep him. Like they're still going to have him come yeah, out. Triple A don't give a shit. Yeah, dude, yeah. Nice Triple A's like Japan. I mean, didn't we hear recently that Japan was trying to uh, secretly bring back Marty? But, oh, that that didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> he's in, he's I thought they were. Wasn't equal. that like actually happening? I thought that was yeah, happening. No. Until America found out about it. Yeah, until America found out. <laughs> but yeah, he's in Puerto Rico now, trying to make a name for himself in the Puerto Rico. That's right. It's still oh, wow. like it's like pretty close. It's like yeah, but that's still a whole I'm, different government. Did y'all over hear so. about the match oh, yeah. that got announced for Battleground Championship Wrestling on December eighteenth in Philadelphia? All right. Oh, I, this I did. I, I did. Uh, Buddy Matthews and Malachi Black. Oh. That's gonna be good. I, I'm not even familiar with that promotion. What what, what is uh, it? I've Battle never heard of it. Never right? Heard of sure. it. What is that? Pretty, pretty sure, sure it's I'm pretty sure it's not a promotion. I'm pretty sure it's a an event. Yeah, but like who's oh. promoting it? Who's who put it all I together? I don't know. Battleground Championship Wrestling. Oh right. well yeah. I was, I thought from the looks yeah. of I, 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 I was wondering where, where MJ was going with that where he's like, I'm pretty sure it's not a promotion. I'm like, I don't I don't I'm pretty sure it's a promotion. It's like yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a money money laundering scheme. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I saw another flyer on uh one of the wrestling groups and it was a it was an event and it had a uh, who was it, man? There's someone in there. Uh well there's Hornswoggle. I'm looking at I'm looking at their page right now. Bull James versus Falaba. That's Al Snow versus Dickinson. Wait, this is this is this is from like this is from like over uh, this is from a few months ago. Yeah, the Cassidy Al Al Snow still wrestling wrestling for them. Whoa, 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 hang on. It's not Al Snow. It's fucking uh, Cassidy. It's Cassidy. Wait, what? Uh, I swore somebody just said Al Snow. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know he still wrestled. But it's Cassidy. Well, this no, 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 no. no, no. I'm looking at the date. This is from fucking 2017. Oh, I don't okay. know what this like. Yeah, all of these posts are from 2017, and now they're back for now a show they're back with like a but, fucking insane match. So they were gone even before COVID. So looks like it, or may, I mean, maybe they were just kind they weren't weird. updating their uh, their Facebook or something, or Which, their uh, why social media. I don't know. This is really weird. Uh, maybe Kyle runs their Facebook page. <laughs> just, that's <Right>. it posted. <laughs> oh my god. Tony Nice, Rhino, PCO. Tony oh, nice. ooh, Holy shit. You know what other matches are confirmed for the same show, MJ? Oh god. Yo, you're gonna freak out. Laredo Kid versus Drago. No. Nope. No. What the fuck? Nothing? Nice little really? triple A showcase that's right true. there. That's true. Hmm. That's true. What's true? Is that true? Did you? Yeah, it's true. Question? It's on their fucking thing. Yeah. Where is this located? In yes, Philadelphia? it's true. Philadelphia. It's at the it's on uh, Facebook. Yeah, it's at the twenty three hundred arena. ECW. EC Dub, bro. You sure, Paul Heyman isn't behind this. December eighteenth, seven thirty. It's a Saturday. Well, I'm definitely not going to Philadelphia in the snow. I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Where? Uh, hey, I've been trying to fucking. Full disclosure, I've been trying to find that post that you made, MJ, and I cannot find it for the It's right here in front of me. <laughs> what? It's not on the All Elite Hour podcast what you Facebook need to do, page. You need to make I put a, it uh, in the group. You need Brian? to make a. Uh, you, uh, oh. What we need, we, we, we need to make a topic to add to AEH posts. So we've we only done one question, it. by yeah. the way. So we can We're 15 minutes it. in. We've done one question. Yeah, well, you know what? We're talking. We haven't fucking recorded yeah. last. Next week, question. Right? Oh, yes, oh! Now you're wrong. the one that's moving it along. No, you know what? we'll one. move it along when we say we're going to move it along. Right, and me and Kyle didn't say we're going to move it along yet. Exactly. That's how it's two versus one. You know. 
excuse yeah. my French, but I'll fire both your motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you said you just fucking you posted it in the discussion group. Yes. As MJ Russell. No, as all elite hour, Brian. We've. Oh, I didn't know you talk, could do that. We talk before we do this, and I said that to him. Yeah, I didn't I, understand. I didn't get that I, memo. So I heard yes. that. I thought you meant you posted it as. So, like, I mean, on the all elite hour Facebook page. This is how it goes on Facebook. Look, I, I have a bunch of memos pages. to be put on my desk before they ever get posted on the group. Well, that's true. And I didn't get any memos on my desk. Oh, I see you taking a, taking a lot of pointers from Tony there. <laughs> so that's this true. is what's cool. I have a bunch of these pages, and I link them with the group. So when I go in the group to make a post, there's a drop mm-hmm. down. I can pick whatever I want to post in that group. That's pretty cool. So, Kyle, next question. Okay. A discussion on AEW's obsession with factions or three-man teams that has been, for the most part, pointless or unsuccessful. He wants a discuss. I love the question because he wants a discussion. Now, oh, okay. So who 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 said that one? Kyle. Yo. Uh, oh, my bad. Julian Atkin. Oh, okay. Julian Atkin. Okay. So, thank you, Julian. Tell me, Kyle. Do you think AEW has an obsession with tre- with factions or three man teams that have been unsuccessful or pointless? Hmm, that's a, it's good a bit question. of a loaded question. Uh, I, I think the faction thing comes from inspiration from New Japan. I mean, or I mean, WCW, either way you want to look at it. WCW, yeah, whatever you want to do it, yeah. So I don't think there's an obsession, more of a paying homage, and you know, it's a thing that works. So why wouldn't you implement it? But there is a problem where they they are creating some that start out nice and then they fizzle out but then they don't get rid of them and they just continue to look bad aka hardy family office hardy family office has been bad for a long time and it's still going on like yeah. I, I i think that's i don't know i think right now that's the only real faction i have a problem with that i could just mm. that, that i just want to be like you know what this just needs to go uh, probably um uh, maybe vicky's team because they don't really seem to be doing shit wait who, who's even on it at this point nyla it's the nyla, priest guy the priest guy what's his name nyla uh priest oh uh, uh, yeah, the priest guy. He, yeah. he's only on bte yeah but he's stop yeah but uh nyla <laughs> I, I think uh no, hold on. That's it. Is Andrade it isn't anymore. Is it just now? I think they did that just so. to bring in Chavo. Yeah, yeah, they did that for Chavo, Chavo. and then they got rid of Chavo. Yeah, well, I think he was going there for weird. He's, I think he's still actually a uh, what is it called? He's he has Producer, something to do with coach. AAA. Yeah, he's, he has something to do with yeah, AAA. He, he, he's still like no, he's shooting. He, he's still is he shooting a, a show. He's still something in AEW, but he's not part of 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 Andrade's thing. Which we thought it was because they were going to bring in Redacted, but then, <laughs> <laughs> but then a certain show happened, and so now I don't think Redacted is going to come into AEW. Yeah, that's true. Anytime soon. That's so. true. <laughs> redacted. Yeah, Redacted. Redacted. You know? Yeah, sixteen-time redacted. world champion. Redacted. Well, come on, it's not that big a deal, guys. We knew about it for a while. It just... no, 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 no. We didn't know about this. Hey, she paid, she got her money. Whatever. Oh, I'll, I'll end it on that. Hey, cut, cut. whoa, cut. whoa! If someone touched me, at, no, we're gonna put this in. If someone touched me at a wrestling show and I said, "Sure, give me money," do I have the right to publicly trash that person years later? Wait, what? What? What is your situation? You, you, you're not making oh, no. sense. No, I was just saying, if something bad happens to me as a talent in the back room, and I mm-hmm. get money for it, but then make the decision years later to trash that person, do you think that's fair? I mean, it's like apples and oranges, bro. Yeah, exactly. You know, what do we grow in this country? It, apples uh, and oranges. Okay, imagine, <laughs> uh, imagine though. Thank but you. Imagine, oh. but, but imagine you know her. Who everybody knows this story, but they don't know what really happened. So people yeah. are kind of laughing That's at all. That's true. That I never heard true. it from her perspective. That yeah. was the first time I ever heard That's it. That's true. Like I, I, I'd always heard he just exposed himself. Had no fucking clue he made her touch him. 
which is that's true. Way I'll, get, I'll give worse. you that. Yeah. Yeah. Does that, okay. does that damage Charlotte? Mm, no. Does that, does that damage? Uh, what's that one girl that kissed him on? That's like, oh, I'm, I'm fucking your dad. What's her? What's her name? Oh, uh, the, uh, oh, I know you're talking about Lacey that. Evans. That's Lacey it. Evans. Holy oh, shit! Dun, dun, I, bet she, dun, 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 I bet she feels so great about her career. Did y'all hear about how fucking overall last night uh, on the draft? They've pretty much broke up What's every women's chance? tag team except for the women's tag team champion. Oh, cool! So there's so absolutely have, zero challengers. No what well, there was a draft? <laughs> yes. Yeah, last Friday running. and Monday. Yeah. Were, were there any like surprises, MJ uh, or Kyle? Did Not you Did you guys see it? Because I, I haven't. I've been kind of out of touch. I know that that uh, Gable Stevenson guy. He showed he up. Got drafted. <gasps> Yeah, yeah, he got, but but do you not hear what happened here recently? No, what? Uh, uh, oh, it got revealed that he uh, basically took pa- part in the sexual assault of a girl back when he was in the Olympics. But get this, get this though, because of a uh, some bullshit loophole in Minnesota, because of the fact that he was drinking uh, mm-hmm. when it happened, that it, there's some loophole in Minnesota law that eliminates him from being having anything done to him because he was also drinking what yeah it, it's horse shit i'll have to send you th- the thing huh. much bigger oh. stories here yeah no that's that's pretty fucked up bro yeah. that's uh Ooh, yeah, i don't know why i'm dropping a lot up. of bros today i'm not watching that i'm not watching that content so i'm getting away well no that's true I, i'm just yeah, surprised I'm why is he getting twitter but why is he getting drafted was he drafted yeah yeah yeah, yeah i think he was on i think he put on raw what the fuck he, he's like he yeah, hasn't, he hasn't even trained or anything. NXT like. 2.0. He must have been there like Tino San... What is his name? C- Tino Sampatelli. He's been, he Tino was there. Sampatelli? He was in NXT. He's still in NXT. And it's been like almost two decades. No. Seriously. <laughs> it has to be... We have to be on year 13 in NXT. He's been there since like the revolution, I think. And you know, you know, true. He has an opportunity in AEW. Squanders that from releasing information. But anyway... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, should we move on to the next question? Yes. Yeah, we, we got off track there, guys. That's okay. Well, so next question. Me I mentioned me, Dick. It's you, Kyle. We already oh, asked. Oh, already okay. asked. Okay. I, cool. Yeah, okay, there you go. Uh, so this one comes from uh, a member of the group, uh, Rodney Mullen. Rodney Mullen? It yeah, Rodney Mullen. Three Mullen. minutes. Wow. Rodney Mullen. To think about okay. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1. Yeah, Rodney Mullen uh, asked uh, Brian, mm-hmm. now that uh, yeah, I guess you could say the honeymoon period is kind of wore off on CM Punk uh, returning, mm-hmm. how do you feel about his uh, his current place in AEW, and do you think uh, it, it, do you think it's how you'd expect it when when he came back? Huh, that's a great question. Uh, thank you for the question. Um, Mr. Mullen. Oh boy. Well, I mean, he, he's, he hasn't wrestled that many matches, but I mean, he's, it's not like he's been like, he showed up and then he disappeared somewhere. Like he's been on pretty much weekly. Uh, so for that, I can appreciate Plus he's on commentary every now and again. And I know he's, some people don't really like him on commentary. I actually don't mind it. I think it's, it's actually pretty good commentary part. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I think it's right around, I think this is actually probably a little bit higher than my expectations. What do you really expect? I mean, the guy had a match with Darby and he had a match with Hobbs. Uh, the, not really like any kind of like rivalry that was like built into that from yeah. like, you know, I mean, pre AEW. Wait for him to give us what the fans want. Punk and Hook. Right? <laughs> exactly. Punk and Hook. Punk and yeah. Hook. That's what that's what we all There's really want. There's a reason want. why not listen to the fans. Okay? That's the money yeah. maker. Okay. They'll probably do that on like, I almost said Thunder. On, uh, on Rampage, right? Yeah, but why hook? Be, so. be, why that be Hook's first match? That wouldn't make sense. That'd be pretty because cool. Punk said, That'd be "Fucking sick." Seeing Hook. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Punk even said it. But yeah, I think to answer your question, I think I think his return has gone um, probably better than my expectations. Actually, well, so it far. boosts ratings. It boosts ratings for sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for, for, for me, you know, being a massive Punk fan. Uh, I, I like him on commentary. Messy. Yeah. yeah well, Punk's always been my favorite fucking wrestler ever. <laughs> uh, commentary. Uh, I like him on commentary. Loved his match with Darby. Uh, 
I liked his uh, his match with, with Hobbs was pretty good. I'm I'm happy that he's back in the uh, they sat back in the trunks because uh, the, the tights was I guess mm-hmm. cool for the return match, but I didn't want it to be a, a lasting thing. No, I think tights will be a pay per view attire. It could be really. It could be. It, I mean, think about huh. it. Maybe. It could be, maybe. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I uh, I I'm happy we'll. Where he's at, I'm glad they didn't do what I honestly expected him to automatically be shot up to like the top of the card and be in all these big feuds. But right, title matches and shit. I'm happy, with, that. I'm happy with him elevating young guys instead. Agreed. I mean, eventually, I, I know eventually we'll, we'll get the we'll get my personal dream match of Kenny and Punk, but uh, for, 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 for now, I'm okay with him just uh, going after young guys. Yeah, MJ. Any input? Uh, you guys might be like, "What the fuck, Martin?" I'll listen. What the fuck, Martin? I really what wish. Fuck, Martin. I used my real name for that. It's kind of fucked Whoa. up. I did that, but you, you mean business, then? I mean business. I kind of feel. I kind of feel like he would have been more over if he just continued what he did. How he was. I'm not going to say what he did because, you know, what he did in WWE. You know what I mean? Not really. What, what, like, I wish you would have came back to heel. That's what I wish would have happened. Listen. Uh, I'll listen here, Martin James III. Uh, it's Jay. I don't have a middle name. It's just Jay. It's kind of <laughs> fucked up. Listen, no, no, Tyler, I like your – I see your point uh, about coming back as a heel. I mean, I honestly expected Punk to be a heel, but at the same time, when you're gone for seven years and everybody's been yeah. wanting you to come back, you kind of can't be a heel. And, and totally the thing agree. is, too, is that CM Punk has only had one gimmick. You know what I mean? Mm. One gimmick. That's it. At what? Because that's who he is. That's what yeah. I'm saying. That's who he is. He's only had one well, gimmick. Yeah, but he's like turned it up a notch and turned like straight edge society. That was a little bit different. He had well, the mask. No. But his same it, gimmick know. was, I'm better than you because I don't drink or smoke or do sure. this. I'm the best yeah. in the world because I'm the best at what I do. I just feel like him coming in and being all happy, jumping the crowd every time it comes in, it just doesn't feel well, right. It doesn't feel it, right. It may not feel right in the sense of that that's how we've known Punk. But I know. I know it's a new company. He's also coming from a place where he's legitimately happy to be back in pro wrestling. That's, right. I, I give so, it that. Yeah. But, I, I do think, though. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Sorry. I don't know if y'all listened to it on the recent AEW Unrestricted uh, podcast. Uh, he he was on there, and he actually mm-hmm. talked about uh, the pop bomb promo and what happened when he went backstage. <laughs> Funniest shit ever. He said, "Fucking uh, uh, Chris was it? Chris, uh, was it Chris Masters? I think. Yeah, he said Chris Masters walked up to him, and he don't know why." He did He said this. If he just wasn't paying attention, if it was dark, he just didn't really see him. He goes. He goes. Hey, dude, did you hear what Punk just said? Man, he's gonna get fired. <laughs> and, and, and Punk looked at him, and said, "Chris, it's me." <laughs> <laughs> I just hope this really does yeah. turn into Punk churning on something or someone. Or I just. I think I it will. That punk rap. I think that's, it will. That's, that's, that's the promo. Yeah. That's, that's the promo. I mean, what about, uh, I mean, he could be like the next, I don't want to say it's like the next Hogan turn, but something like that, like him well, what sucks too is going against the fans. What sucks about it too is because CM Punk didn't become that because he was asked to or wanted to. It was his real feelings about the damn company that he was working for. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you can't capture that if he loves to be with Tony Carter, loves all this stuff. Right. So you would have to flip it as in, you know what? I would love a CM Punk and Cody match. Putting that out oh, there right now. Hell yeah. I would love that because they could do so much, so fucking much with that. So yeah, like, much. yeah. And like the Cody. That's, that's what Cody that's who Cody needs to be facing. The people that is on that was on his status. Not these young people or no, I'm gonna say it. The Malachi Black and Cody pro- feud was not good. It wasn't. Because there was no meaning behind it, nor have they ever said the meaning behind why he went after Cody. He just popped up. That's it. It's a good point. Now, now they're doing something because now 
Arn is like, dude, you didn't get the job done and you keep on wanting to face him. So take out your gun and shoot him in the head. That's what he said, right? Wait, so who who do you think is going to be Punk's like first, I guess, I don't want to say Boss? big. No, 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 no. Well, no, no. Like first like big uh, feud. Like you know, boy, dream uh, feud. Uh, 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 Adam Cole. Uh, I'd say, uh, oh, well, that's actually Cole's dream. Have you not been hearing on commentary how yeah. much they're setting that up? Yeah, that's true. The, the, that's actually Cole's dream match. But at the same time, it's like, uh, do you give Punk his first loss with Adam Cole? Or do you have Cole lose? Hmm. You have Cole lose because Cole is in the same stature as CM Punk, I think. Honestly, no. No, I mean, as right now. Honestly, in, in AEW, is, maybe. Now, if they yes. do Punk and Cole. Speaking as a as a punk fan, I think punk should lose mm-hmm. to, to to elevate Cole, and I think he thinks that too. But, but, but see, here's the thing though, elevate Cole. And, and this is this is what I think. Uh, I, I think this this Cole that we're seeing it, 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 it is an act. I don't think he's really heel. I, I think he's he's doing it to destroy the elite from the inside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because he he's been dropping little hints here and there that uh, th- that seem to kind of indicate that because like when he first came out when he first debuted mm-hmm. and he did his uh, he talked about he talked about everybody he didn't mention the Good Brothers. It kind of makes me think. A very next week he did a promo talking about how great everybody was. He didn't mention Kenny. He's mm-hmm. slowly slowly uh, starting things from the inside. Like trying to stir shit up, kind of. Yeah. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Passive aggressively, sort of. Yeah. Huh. I kind of like it if that happens. I'd be pretty, if he's like, I, a, he's, he's been working think, with Kazarian. But yeah. Kyle, back to your CM Punk thing. I don't think Adam Cole needs to be elevated. He's already. I Adam mean, Cole. Yeah, but, but Punk I, loses. I, I, it needs to be to young I'm talent. saying more of a. I'm saying more though. If you do Cole and Punk, I think Punk should pass the torch to Cole. Agreed. We, yeah, but man. Plus, he has the numbers Cole, game. Uh, on Adam his Cole is a plus, star. Plus, Cole's only thirty-two. He's got. But he's just a plenty star. of fucking more. Years. Is he really only thirty-two? He's only fucking thirty-two. No, Tommaso Champ is only thirty-four. Really? Wow, that's insane. He's younger than Kenny. He's younger Damn. than me. That's Matt. Insane. Matt is thirty-four, and Nick is thirty-one, thirty. Something like that, like yeah, yeah. They got some mileage on him, though, you know. But no, Steel so Punk loses. It needs to be to a young talent. You think so? Who? Yes. Who? Hook. Stop. You know who I, who I who I think? Who? Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy. Yeah. Jungle Boy. I would say Jungle Boy. If yeah, Jungle Boy how, how do you get but, there? I'm gonna agree with something because I heard Cornette talk about this, and I actually agree with him. Because yes. I do listen to Cornette when my brother does. I don't listen to him personally. That's fine. But he said That's Jungle good. Dude does need to do a little bit better animating himself when he talks to people. As in, you know, same thing with, I think, with Brian Pillman. It's like, dude, you need to make it more believable. Now, I know you're excited. Like, yes, you're excited, dude, because look who you're working with. You know what I mean? But, right. See, this is what kills me, too, is that. Brian and MJF should have great chemistry because they've already worked with each other in MLW before, and I just don't see it. Really? I don't see it. Hmm. 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 Well, uh, what moving are the questions on we got? Yeah. from the next question, <laughs> uh, since, since MJ already mentioned it, uh, uh, a nice segue, uh, go on the next question. Um, I'll give this one to MJ. Since we gave the last one to, she just asked a fucking question. Brian, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, well here I, I'll go ahead and do. It. Okay, look. Uh, so, so MJ, this comes from uh, a fan of the group, uh, Keith Buckley. Keith Buckley asks, uh, "Thank you, Keith." In uh, here recently, Dynamites has celebrated. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Wrong question. Uh, Keith Buckley asks. Uh, here recently, we've heard rumors going around. Uh, that certain someone by the name of Jim Cornette is rumored to be coming into AEW to manage FTR. What are your thoughts on that? And do you mm. think AEW would really bring in Cornette? I feel like Tully is, is the perfect match for them. Sorry. 
for all you people that want to see Jim Cornette with FTR. I think Tully is the one. I feel like if Jim were to come in, I wouldn't put him with FTR. I put him I put him as booking certain matches. Cause like, yes, Tony okay. half and half. No, okay, well let me put some of that. Oh, you say that AEW will like it? Is that was another question too? If people will like it? Well, oh, uh, the the next part's question was: Will uh, would AEW act? Do you think AEW would actually bring him in? Well, yeah, Tony's already tried, so we have that confirmed. Uh, uh, really? Yeah, you don't you didn't hear about what Cornette said that he already tried to contact well, me before this all happened. Well, Cornette said that. I don't well, I'm just well. Tony or anybody else has ever confirmed that. Well, obviously Tony would want him, right? Yeah. Tony wants to. He always best. praises him. He's been praising yeah. him lately, at least. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think with like the timing of the rumor and what here recently, how Cornette has really started praising AEW, and it seems kind of weird that that this gets brought up. I'm like, hmm. I knew I mean, there was a reason. I listened to a fool on the other day. He talks about AEW way more than WWE now. So, yeah. Like he yeah. actually like thanked Tony Khan for giving him the best dynamite on his birthday. But this is what you do: you bring in Cornette, crazy, and you have him book your uh, shock stories. You gentlemen know what I'm talking about, right? Your shock stories, as in like someone birthing get. a hand. It's like putting Luther and Serpentico in the ring one week, and then Cornette's like, "Do this," and it pops to people because he's good at doing that. He is. Sure. You can't, you can't shy away from that. Now his attitude. Obviously, I'm not really with. I don't like how his. You can have opinions, yes, but you, he goes too far with yeah. these opinions, and I feel like he's these these aren't his actual opinions. They're just like, man, what can I do to ramp this up? Yeah, I feel like it will be a problem. It will be a problem in AEW if they bring him. How in. would you? Uh, do you think bringing in Cornette would hurt the backstage environment? Yes, because he doesn't. Even, he real life does not like the world champion. Nor yeah. the other EVPs. So what's or the tag the champions? Game? Yeah, it, what's it, the game here? It, it, it's interesting though. Also, that Tony oh, wait, no, Khan, not the tag champions. Uh, Four, it, right. It's interesting. Uh, also, that Tony Khan recently basically said that the EVPs don't uh, aren't as in charge as they used to be now. That he pretty much like mm-hmm. runs everything. So, so it's like. So what? What it is it exactly? More, and more like this could happen. There's like, what I'm getting here, Brian, is that there's divisions to this EVPism. As we have this, so you go EVP that. We have this, so you go EVP that. Yeah. Obviously, but, like, that's what people say comes down to Tony Khan, which a lot. I saw some people like talking about how, oh, that's kind of shitty. I'm like, how's that shitty? The guy running the company should have final say. Right. But, that's how it okay. is. With fucking but Vince I wanna, too. I, I want to answer that too from you. I want to. I want to grab that from you, Kyle. Okay. Is that Tony? has the reputation of trying to make his locker room the safest locker room in professional wrestling. Yeah. Jim Cornette's not that person to make that locker room safe. Yeah, I think. So if you were to work with him, be on a phone basis. Maybe. Maybe. They would have to seriously, seriously sit down and talk uh, between the EVPs and and Cornette. And to add, Cornette has a real-life problem with impact. He does not like that company. He does not like the people that works in that company. And I feel like he would just be like, oh, you're working with that bullshit company? Yeah, but he's got nothing to do with Impact. He's just on the does. This is supposed to just be to manage FTR. Hmm. I feel like a lot of people will have a problem with that. I wouldn't. How about that? If he comes... If he comes in, is he going to be doing creative though, or is it just strictly managing? Uh, like from, managing from FTR, rumor, he's a character on TV. FTR managing FTR. W- okay, which is also odd because it's like, so what are they doing? Are they planning on breaking up the Pinnacle or? Yeah, I mean, they mentioned him last week. So is Cornette going to join the Pinnacle or like well, what's going on? I mean, that could be. Well, if he joins the Pinnacle, Holy honestly, shit. I would rather have Cornette manage MJF. Oh my god, that would be, dude. And plus, think about this. I know what they think when they try to do this too. Is if you bring Cornette to AEW, all those people that listen to Cornette, which is a lot of people, will start watching that program. 
Probably not the whole program, or we're just watching Cornets on. But hey, that's viewers right on that program. So. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Oh. Smart move, by the way. It is a smart I move. Think it, I think there's there's legitimate cause for there for it to be good business. But I don't know. That there would be a lot of backlash and they would really, really have what what's uh what's to work on things. What's Cody's relationship with Cornette? Does anyone know? I have no clue. He actually does. He likes Cody a lot. Does he? Yeah. He did, he didn't like mm-hmm. the roads to the top. He said he just kind of made him look like a buffoon, which I don't oh, know. Yeah, didn't, yeah, he You're doing reality about it, television. Didn't? You're doing reality. Right. Yeah, I mean, reality television. there's some like, things he said he that was he, all right. Yeah. But we had the like same on, opinion on Brandy. But like mm-hmm. on reality, like, like they claim on roads to the top that they just had a camera falling around. I don't know nah. if that's exactly true because I know some of that had to been wrapped up. Yeah, dude. Oh, like, come definitely. On. That a lot, all of that, like the, the stuff with Jade and Red Velvet. Yeah, like, that's what I said to myself. Like, I was dude. like, I don't. I never heard anything about that. I'm pretty sure if they would have had legitimate locker room heat, there would have been dirt sheets all over that shit. Yeah. Hmm. Just because they slapped hard. Yeah, I think that was it. it, it, it honestly, it was kind of shitty because it honestly it made Jade look like a bitch. Like it made her like look like. Just like heel. Well, no, well, yeah, but uh, this shows to be outside the locker. It made her look like she would be a terrible person to work with. Oh, right, yeah, right, right. Which also, I kind of do. I hate. I didn't like that part of them showing, like what showing was them. Too, is of the wrestling. Anthony Gogo part? That yeah, was well, the they most, shot it a million years ago. You, but still, why would you put that in, dude? Uh, because they shot it at the time. It was on the schedule. They, they just had this to, big robbery with Adam. They wanted to show. Oh, he's black, yeah, Cody. They <laughs> wanted to show, uh, I guess, Brandy appreciation for the promo. Right. But, but yeah. it's just, I don't know. It just kind of caught me off guard. Like, wait, what? <laughs> hmm. Um. All right, here. I've got a question right here. This one comes okay. from Tony Shade. Thank you for the question, Tony. And he says, uh, what do you want to see from the Dark Order? Uh, Kyle, any thoughts? Uh, I would honestly like to see Dark Order go back to the way it was back when Brody Lee first came in. Like, you know, obviously it can't happen with Brody Lee. Obviously can't come back, unfortunately. But I'm talking about the way that they were, how they were like this unstoppable mm-hmm. faction that just came in and wrecked shit. That's what I want. Okay. Um, MJ? Thoughts? Comments? Inquiries, I, I, I'll suggestions. Yeah, this past dynamite, what they did with Negative One and Brody's wife, I did not like that. Really? I did not like that because I feel like because I feel like it was a cop out to what the program was supposed to be about. What are you talking about? It's supposed to be about Brody. No, okay, but listen to me out. Why would you have your storyline of fighting amongst each other when it's supposed to be for Brody? Why would you run that storyline on this program? Okay, I understand. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like you could have just had a you could just had a regular match. That's what I'm saying. A regular match. Maybe some discord at the side, but then like look at the fans. They see all them holding up the Brody sign. Like you know what? Right, you, they didn't have to have like negative, like negative one thrown the papers. Like that was cool. I'm not, His name isn't negative one anymore. What is it? Brody Junior. It's, it's Brody, Brody Junior. Right, yeah. yeah. And also, what they did with Ty and whatever yeah. their name was, that was yeah. stupid. They could just wore dark order gear. Could just wore dark order gear, and that would have been all right. I didn't well, like outfits. I think, it, I think it was more of a show in that uh, dark order. Like all of Dark Order is not okay, and you know even Anna was kind of breaking away. Yeah, but who can you bring in to, to bring that spark back? <sighs> um. Well. Uh, hmm. Who? Certain... It, it it seems to me that they need to let someone in Dark mm-hmm. Order. Next question to help bring them back. But 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 I will say though, if you watch their recent BTE, they seem to be on good terms now. Like everybody seems to be back to their old self. They even had a spot where where Anna come in and at the end and pushed pushed uh, Stu over, and then mm. uh, John Silver did the whole uh, did the whole Anna chance where he was like Anna Anna Anna. 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 
Yeah. So you think that, so this whole thing was just oh. leading up to the, the Brody show, this whole no, feud. That's what I'm saying. No, I don't think so. There's okay. definitely, more, there's definitely more to it. Okay. Uh, 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 do you know, okay. So, so I'm sure y'all noticed Tien's mask. It was, it looked like an exact replica of, Deathstroke. uh, of Deathstroke. Do you know, he claims that he doesn't know who Deathstroke was and that he had to look up who Deathstroke was. He's After he got all the comments, uh, yeah, no, no, I read that. I was like, "That's bullshit." There's no fucking way you make a mask that looks that similar to Deathstroke's, and it was even split, and, so and, and not know who Deathstroke is. Well, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know who Deathstroke is. Who's Deathstroke? What the fuck? Who's Deathstroke? Is that? He's a, D, that, he's a DC villain for Batman. What Marvel? the fuck is wrong with you? I don't Marvel. watch. Brian, have you ever watched? Oh. Have you ever watched Teen Titans? No. The cartoon, what is oh that? Is that You've on never Netflix? Seen Teen Titans on fucking Cartoon is it Network. On no. Oh my god. It's on Cartoon Network? No, or it used to be. It used to be. What is it? Is it it's a cartoon? Yes, yes, but it's not but it's a When I was in middle school, it was on Cartoon Network. Oh. It was great. Oh, it so it's like an old show. Huh. Who is it? Death Squad? Oh my god. No, Deathstroke. Deathstroke. Oh. Death Squad was oh, a that's, crew that's, that would go to like murder on MJ. <laughs> You know who they, they would Morbius mosh is? At shows. You know who Morbius is? Mortis? Yeah, that was Chris Canyon during his WCW run. Fucking oh, damn it! Next who? Question. Mobius? Mobius. That's the guy Morbius. from. That's Morbius. the guy from Matrix. Take the blue pill, you take the red pill. That's Morpheus. Who's Modius? Modius? Modem. Modemless. Router. <laughs> You're literally telling me you don't know who Deathstroke is. No. Oh, He's the. God. All right. No. Uh. uh let me think. Oh, God damn He's it. the guy that killed Batman. Mm, no. Oh. Well, this next question is for you, Kyle. Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. We should just this move on. This one's from Bobby Puglisi. <laughs> Puglisi. Okay. Thank it's you, a, Bobby. It's, it's a big question, so I'm going to shorten it down. Okay. He said, most of the matches on Dark and Elevation are predictable because they are AEW stars versus indies. He said, after seeing Janela versus Kiss, I really want to see the lesser used but signed AEW guys wrestle each other, having great matches where I don't want to know who the winner will be. Hmm. Do you think Dark has a real big problem with doing that? With that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, back when Dark first started, it was like must watch because they had some really interesting matchups. Uh and you know it was just it was just a fun show to watch. It I watched it all the time, and then all of a sudden it started getting to the point where at, at, there there was there was a stretch of shows where you could literally look at the graphic and point which side the winners were on because of how obvious it was. <laughs> you could it's true. Just, yeah, and yeah, I, I want them to go back to that version of Dark. I don't like this new Dark. It's Mm-mm. way too now easy to figure out. I'm adding on to this. Brian, this goes mm-hmm. to you. Do you okay. think it will work if AEW has another show on YouTube called AEW Indies? AEW Indies? And you have the Indies guys face each other off in actual matches where you do not know who's going to win. I mean, that that would be cool. I don't know about the name, I but like I like the, the yeah, I, I like the, the idea like of it. AEW Light Gray or... AEW Indies because every person they're using to get to squ- for their stars to squash are indie people. Yeah, AEW, it's too literal, though. They need to have something like a little bit Too literal? Then why put wrestling in a- a- All Elite Wrestling? That's too literal. AEW Dim or... Dim. AW or, or it could be like... Like the next generation, A-W-N-A-W-N-A-W-N-A-W-N-A-W-N-A-W-N-A-W-N-A-W-N-A-W-N-A-W-N-A-W-N-A-W-N-A-W-N-A-W-N-A-W-N-A-W-N-A-W-
Yeah, but, but I like Elevation Dark. more <laughs> as a show. <laughs> oh, I see. I got to be honest. I haven't really watched Elevation in... I've only watched the first episode, and as soon as I saw the next card, I was like, dude, I'm done. It ain't happening. Man. Oh. Sorry. If I want to see people get squashed, I just look up Big Show. For, yeah, that's what pissed me off, too. Big Show versus three people, that was WWE-ish right there. Yeah. Oh, who was it? RSP, VSK? RSP, RSP, APA. I don't know. Okay? Yeah, I don't know. It was so, three wrestlers yeah. with three letters in their... How? Why do you do that? That doesn't make. They did it for just a fucking goof. But that's not cool. No, I know. I, <laughs> that's not cool. We have a few it's more. Not, uh, we have time for a few more questions. It's not very elite. Uh, so this, this next one's for you, Brian. Okay. Uh, I just, oh yeah, I asked you a question. Yeah, this one comes from Claudio Sanchez. Uh, Claudio oh. says, "Uh, if we recently had the two-year anniversary of Dynamite, mm-hmm. do you feel?" Has AEW exceeded, met, or underwhelmed your expectations from where you thought they would be two years ago to where they are now? Um, and what would you improve if you could? Okay. Yeah. It easily, easy, easily exceeded my expectations. Um, I mean, I kind of assumed that they were going to work. They just, there was way too many like talented people on their side for, for it not to work. And I mean, they were able to do all this during a fucking once in a century pandemic, which that's fucking tough. Plus, I feel like they would be huger if the COVID never happened. Oh, I 100% agree. Oh, I agree with that too. Yeah. We were running. Uh, the group was a running. Punk would have running. come in sooner. Yeah. yeah. Like a, a, a bunch of stuff would have happened a, a little bit earlier. So, uh, I mean, not to mention WWE has what? I mean, Tony just mentioned it a few weeks ago, but it, like they've, they've had, and it's true, they've had a fucking 25 to 30 year, however long head start than AEW. And so for AEW to even be like competing a little bit, I think that's a fucking, that, that's nothing but positive. So yeah, I mean, I, I they definitely, they I definitely mean, exceeded my expectations. Um, what could they improve? Um, I suppose, uh, and, and this is kind of just an easy answer, but it's, it's true. Like they do need to kind of tighten up their roster a little bit. I like that they're giving people opportunities, but I, I don't know. They're, they're a little all over the place when it comes to their, I guess their roster, if you if you will, or who they put out there, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. See, know. like for me, it, it definitely exceeded my expectations. So, like, I didn't I didn't figure within two years AEW would have already had a second show, a reality mm-hmm. show, p- a Punk returning, and everybody that they've brought in already, and plus sure. a, a partnership with Impact and New Japan. Within two years, I mean, that's 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 insane. Yeah. Uh, imp- improve for sure. Obviously, obvious answer: women's division. Mm-hmm. It, it's miles better than it was, but it still needs a lot of work. Oh, wow. uh, yeah. But uh, to re- to to go back off what you said uh, with their roster, it, it does seem like we have this problem where. They'll book some. They'll, they'll bring in someone big from, like usually an ex WWE person, and they'll skyrocket them. They'll have like a good, a good match or like a few to, good to go to a championship match. Lose that match, and then we won't see them for a few weeks. <laughs> right. And it's kind of like, did you guys not know what you're doing afterwards, or like, right. what's going plan? on here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like, okay, R- Ruby just had her match with Britt Baker. She lost. She had a promo on Dynamite. We haven't seen her. We haven't seen her since. It's true. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. That's a yeah. good point, though. MJ, what do you think? Exceed your that's expectations? Definitely exceeded my expectations. Yeah. Oh, that's good to hear. What oh, I shit. would change? I think they need to do better title runs. I think their title runs... Oh, I'll repeat that since Brian wasn't listening. <laughs> I, my, I pulled I my headphones out on accident. They need to improve their title runs. I feel like their title runs are a little bit convoluted, and we're just going to have them as a champion so we can say they're the champion. Other than storyline, like the Miro. We'll put that right here. The Miro losing. Mm-hmm. I have mixed feelings about it because did Miro have a good title run? Was it long enough to be a good title run? Or was it short enough just because they wanted to get a shock value out of Sammy winning, which is 
like they said, he's a pillar. He is a pillar of AEW because he was on the first match. He's garnered – he's been in trouble and has came back from it, which is very rare in this business. It's true. So I think if Sammy's – like, they need to have a good run for Sammy. And I just feel like he's going to lose it within two months. Do you really? Yes. You think so? Oh, fuck. Well, Most uh, definitely. Sammy losing two it? Months. In two months, yes. So he, by, he, what is that, he, Christmas? He, he, yeah, who I think. Because this is my thing. What was the reason for Miro beating Darby when Darby could have easily faced CM Punk with the title and garnered more credibility no. that he was going to win? Because – because obviously we can have non-title matches, and I don't think we would have cared if it was a non-title match, right? Probably not. See, Punk saying, "I don't want your title. I just want a match with you." And everyone like, "Cool, with you all right? We're still gonna have this." Everybody yeah. was all right with Daniel Bryanson versus fucking <laughs> Danny without the title. Sorry, I'm still gonna do it. But that's what I'm saying. Their title runs need to be more thought out and more put in place for other storylines and other. High top talent to be able to get that title also. Yeah. No, that's so a like, good point about Darby and, and the TNT title and Punk. Why would you have Miro beat Darby, but then us believe that Darby could beat CM Punk? Right. Then we just have a CM Punk versus Miro match. And Miro, well, you know what I mean? It's just, that's that's what I think about when I watch this stuff. Hmm. That's interesting. And part, and part of this title run and storyline thing and tightened up roster that we're all talking about in women's mm-hmm. division, it's because we're on TV. That, ha- that plays a big part in what you want to do and how much time you have to do it. Well, sure. That's why the pay-per-views blow, you know? The pay-per-views blow out of the water in the go-home shows, which I'm pretty sure they give – I've seen it. They but, let the go-home shows run a little bit more longer on TV. A little Just bit, Just put yeah. that out there. But the, 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 they still only give the women, like, one match even on the pay-per-view. One match, even right. on pay-per-view. And, and see, that's, that's where it comes back to I know that they don't believe in most of their women. Well – well, you know that you know what we've. Is, I, I wouldn't necessarily say a rumor. It's pretty much been confirmed by like credible people that there is a new title coming in, being brought mm-hmm. in for the women. That's not a tag title. It's supposed to be a, like a basically like uh, from what it seems. It seems like it's basically like gonna be like the TNT title, but for the women. So hopefully, that will help bring in more stories for the women. That's what I think. I think honestly, I think a lot of it, even though they shouldn't have these problems because they can easily make these stories without titles. I think right. because of there only being one women's title, they only see like one way to do a story and uh, everybody else just kind of gets pushed aside. So I think if you bring in another title, they'll be able to bring in um, at least two stories a week. For right. And at least hopefully. have more. Yeah, by the way, team. main eventing the women doesn't fix anything. It's still one women's match. It's true. But but, uh, but but I will say I did appreciate though that Baker and Rosa got the main event because they definitely deserved it. That dynamite. True. Well, I think it was the only people that could have really main event. I think though. honestly, I uh, uh, I think whenever Baker and Rosa has their eventual rematch, uh, if it's for the title, uh, I, I think AEW will give them the, the main event. Uh, I think so pay-per-view. too. Even if it's a pay per view. Yeah. Mm, I hope so. I think they would. Huh. I would hope. I would hope they would. I would. Yeah. Right. I mean, what's, yeah, the, what's the next but, one? Next one is full full gear. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know, gear. but you'd have yeah. to contend. But, but with full gear. gear, full gear, probably not gonna happen because, let's face it, pretty sure, Hangman's gonna be facing Kenny and gonna win the title at full gear because mm. it makes the most sense. Because full gear was the pay per view that was named after him. So, right. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, speaking of that, let's talk about uh, uh, this week on Dynamite. We have a casino ladder match. Mm. There's Very one, good lineup. one, one Joker. Who, Who do you think it's it? going to be? Oh, okay. I see where he's leading on to this. I see where he's going. He's right. It's Hangman. It has to it be. It has hangman. to be Hangman. It, it has, has to be Hangman. Be hangman. Hmm. It has to be. Only thing that makes sense because it's Hangman lost. Even though it was bullshit, Hangman lost to Kenny. Kenny You're told right. him that the only way for him that's to earn that title back shot in, back yeah. is to win. That's how he gets back into the title picture. Yeah. So I was, I, I was thinking, before you said Hangman, I was thinking Buddy Matthews, but... Yeah. Already, already, I, don't know, I, I, I heard he was going to impact, but I mean, he could still do a one-off. 
Right, he could show oh, up and uh, not win. Another funny thing, hmm. Sammy Guevara has defended his new TNT title uh, this week against Bobby Fish. Uh, for, as far as we know, Bobby Fish is just a, a thing, but on but. the graphic, Bobby Fish is wearing a shirt that you know with his logo on it, and under it is the AEW logo. So, All right, so I, I've been thinking about this one because they did the same thing with fucking Twitter fingers Cardona. I did he, do that with Cardona, yes. He's the only other one that I could think of that they made a t-shirt for. Yeah. Hmm. But would they make a t-shirt for Bobby Fish if they weren't going to sign him? I mean, yeah, right? Wouldn't you? Uh, Yeah, but does does Bobby Fish fry fish? How many fish fry fish if Bobby Fish would fry fish? Yeah, but... That is a good point. No, listen. Yeah. I thought he was with MLW. I thought that was... It has to be... Well, didn't he get in a draft or something? Or something? Yeah, they had a they had a whole draft, and he was on there. Didn't didn't they have like Fightland or whatever? Was he on that card? Oh, wow. I haven't watched it. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't watch mm. it. Ww. Mm. Yeah, he's, he was like. Let me see. Mm. W Bobby Fish. Uh, September fourteenth. Yeah, Fightland, October second. He just made it. Yeah, oh, so wow. he just made his uh, debut. Over the she, weekend. Uh, uh, she, she just making her dynamite. Uh, uh, finally coming back to Dynamite after so damn long, and she's Thank facing God. Serena Deeb. That's oh, great. All right. That'll I'm be just good. saying this is gonna. This is gonna. Yeah. If she wins, she gets back into the title picture. All right. Maybe. All right. That's good. I don't. I don't. I don't think they'll give it back to Sheeta anytime soon. I don't think so either. Yeah, they already ruined that. I don't think so either. Um. All right. Well, it's getting to that time. We've answered. Yeah. It's been that time. A bunch of questions. Yeah, I like doing these questions from the group episodes because it's a lot of stuff that normally, oh yeah, you know, it's just some yeah, fucking uh, uh, out there stuff, and I love it. Yeah, the, uh, the weirder the people, better. A lot of people I wasn't even aware he was even in the group. We got some pretty great people in here. Yeah, Keith Buckley. Yeah, uh, Buckley. Who, thank you to Claudio him, Sanchez. Yeah, Mr. Sanchez. Rodney Mullen. Rodney Mullen. Rodney Mullen. Holy shit, man, it's insane. Just celebrities everywhere. But um, do you guys have any plugs or anything that you want to throw out there before uh, before we start wrapping wrapping this bad boy up? Bad boy. I'm a bad bad boy. I'm gonna plug my pages. I'm on page strike still. What House of Black? Well, every page until the House of Black gets posted. Uh, the Cult of Cornet. That's not a page. That's not a page. Wait, it's no, not it's a page. A plug. No, it's, it's a not, page. It's a group. It's a group. Oh, it's a group. I, I, I thought oh, for, 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 we were having issues where, you know, we couldn't, where we were having like uh, mutiny things with that group. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, well, probably soon. soon yeah, I don't care about the people's fucking page. Heads will start post the fucking, just post one post. Kyle, you're sitting on your ass right now. You look down at your phone for 50% of this fucking podcast. Make the fucking no, that's post, not true. Dude. I'm that's still getting true. likes. No. I'll say it every week. I'm still getting likes. Yeah. I haven't been posted for like two, like one month. Mm. Nice. Thanks, Kyle. God. Wow. All right. Um, uh, besides 28. the only plug besides the AEW group. QT is calling me. Oh. oh. Hello, the QT. plug besides the AEW group, uh, I'd say would be... Uh, join the Dan Housen fan Housen group if you're a fan of Dan Housen he's in the group wonderful group super proud of it uh, I mean I heard recently uh, from uh, from someone that Dan Housen uh, literally told them because uh, like th- they had posted on Twitter or something uh, that they wanted to sh- send them some uh, some artwork or something to show mm-hmm. and he redirected them and told them to post it in the fan group for him to see it very cool and from what I was told, Dan Housen doesn't spend a lot of time on Facebook, so the fact that he's that active in the group says something. Super cool. Yeah. Very cool. Join that. What was it called? Dan Housen Fan Housen, yeah? Dan Housen Fan Housen, yes. And then right. uh, if you uh, like independent promotions, check out New South Pro Wrestling. Mm-hmm. Uh, Action cool. Clash every Tuesday on IWTV. That's right. And um, Carmen Childers, AVTech.com. Um, doesn't do drugs. Yep. Marked Out Wrestling Podcast, of course. Um, like, Sorry. follow, all that shit. Sub- I don't know why I'm saying subscribe. I like to say subscribe just, to the YouTube page. You can did do you that. just do a show this week, Brian? 
Um, who me? Oh, I did one over the weekend. Yes, with uh, Full Faith Wrestling. It was fucking awesome. It was actually it was a very fun show. I got to work with uh, Caesar Bonani and Vicky Guerrero, which they were awesome. Yes. Um, yeah, it was a, it was a really oh. good show. The uh, should be up. I don't know bring when. Vicky on. Uh, that'd be that'd be awesome. I'd love to. Um, we didn't get to talk about that, but. Um, we talked briefly and she was super nice and it, she was, she was cool. She and I'll show like you guys really, the, some, really, what's that? She seems like a really nice chill person. Oh yeah. To hang out yeah. With, yeah. To interact with. Yeah. I mean, from, from what I can, uh, tell. Right there. Yeah. Oh, I, right. I know. Right. I was freaking, that's exactly what I was saying. I was like, dude, that's fucking wrestling royalty. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, uh, clips will be up. I'm sure they'll be up. Uh, I don't know in the next few weeks or so. Um, that's full faith wrestling. Just go to Twitter at FFW faithful. I think it is. Um, but yeah, you'll, I'll, we'll post some stuff from, um, either my page or I don't know. I'm rambling right now. Um, thank you guys for listening. Um, thank you guys for recording. We're not it's always a blast. No, I know. I don't know what we're ending. What are we ending on? Um, and good night. I'll catch you on the flip side. Marked Out Podcast is produced and edited by U Record Studios and from Charlotte, North Carolina. Subscribe, follow, and listen to us live on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook Live. Download the podcast by following us at podbean.com or subscribe on iTunes and Apple Podcast. While you're there, go ahead and give us an honest and fair review and rating. Finally, if you have enjoyed our product and would like to see us grow, please donate to us by visiting the donation link below our live video, or you can donate via Venmo and Cash App at the handle RavePro. That's R-A-V-E-P-R-O. You're listening to the Electronic Media Collective Podcast Network. Yeah, it's a mouthful. For more great shows, visit electronicmediacollective.com.